10,000 subscribers, people. And to celebrate, we have got some surprises for you. We're gonna have a giveaway. Stick around till the end of the show. New year, new Monday, and a new Maker Monday. And uh, I'm here with Bent. Bent, happy new year. Yeah, how was how was your New Year's Eve? Uh, great, great. We yeah. had a lot of barbecue and beer, so Ooh, sounds similar to my New Year's <laughs> Eve. <laughs> uh, and what we're going to be doing in this episode is having a look at the results we set up. If you remember in the previous episode, uh, a particulate matter sensor, um, which could measure the particulate matter in the air. We're going to have a look at the results of that. We left it running over New Year's Eve, and we want to see the values that were caused by the fireworks. What do you think? How much is the value? Well, <laughs> uh, I don't know. What, what, what percentage? I, I guess there was an increase. I think we can assume that there was an increase yes, in pollution levels. Uh, the question is, what was the percentage increase? Um, yeah, I think we shouldn't talk about percentage here. We should talk about a factor. <laughs> factor. And yeah, it's uh, really high. OK. Uh, yeah. I What's the factor, Ben? I don't have it in my head, but it's uh, uh, near 10 or a bit more. Okay, back to 10. So, wow, that's um, quite significant. Yes, yes. All right. So I think we can uh, take a look to the data. But before we do, let's just uh, discuss what, what we had. We had uh, sensors in various locations, didn't we? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. So um, we have two sensors, one really near central in the city of Nuremberg mm -hmm. and uh, one sensor a bit outside, um, a bit more on the land. Okay. So we can compare the these two. Yes. Okay, Bernd, I'm very excited to see the results. Let's have a look at okay. the data. Let's Show me what you got. So everyone, I think, has seen this in the last episode. We set up the two, two devices um, mm. at our PDG and sense. So we go to the particulate matter of one of them. And let's generate a graph for the data. So we select, I think, uh, the 31st of December from the beginning of the day. New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve, yeah. See what you're doing there. And then we, at end date, I think we take the 1st of January, end of the day. Mm -hmm. I think that will be enough data. Um, we remove the averaging to see raw data mm -hmm. here and uh, only the fine dust sensor data, so yeah. remove that. And we're looking at the particulate matter levels of 2.5 and 10 yes. microns di in diameter. Yeah. Yes. So here's the graph. I've already um, built the graph for the second device here. Okay. Oh, this one. So they are nearly the same. Which, so what are we looking at now? This is the this one. This is the city center sensor. City center one, right. This one and there we can see a spike, a, a yes. definite spike. We'll, we'll, we'll take a closer look now. Uh, it started uh, a bit later, so let's take this one because it's uh, we have more data. This is one on the countryside. In the countryside, okay. So um, we see here the first spike at maybe three o'clock. Ah, that's uh, my barbecue spike because <laughs> you had I a barbecue. heated up the grill. Oh, and, nice. That's uh, Ben's personal pollution levels happening there from his barbecue. <laughs> yes. It's interesting. I didn't thought that we can measure the barbecue here. So interesting. What did you have? Um, uh, we had uh, spare ribs. Spare ribs. Yeah, they were I can't remember getting an invitation to <laughs> Ben's maybe next year. barbecue. Maybe next year. <laughs> if so I play my cards right. We have, a, we have a second spike here. I think at around 8 o'clock. I think this mm. are the, the, the kids. Yeah, so parents take the kids out and give them a preliminary show so they can put them to bed and start drinking. <laughs> okay, I don't have kids, but I think that's the case. I do. So can confirm. What we also see, so at 4 or 5 p.m., yeah, uh, it starts slightly to increase mm -hmm. um, the yeah. the particular matter in the air, and then yeah, I expected that. Yeah, at nearly uh, midnight we have a really high peak. Yeah, massive. So Definitely I didn't noticeable. I didn't thought that it would be that big. So the sensor peaks out at more than one thousand. So I think uh, base level is about five to eight. Mm -hmm. So that's really it's impressive. Noticeable. And what's the comparison between the city one and the countryside one? Was there a noticeable difference? Not really. Okay. So here near the city, we peaked out at 1,200 for PM10. Mm -hmm. So here on the countryside, we peaked out near 1,200. Pretty, pretty similar. 
Yeah, yeah I, I checked the data and I thought that's uh, that's not okay. So I checked the sensor uh, specifications. Okay. So the sensor is specified to 1000 as a limit. Okay. So I think we have a bit headroom of the specification, but uh, I think we ran totally. We in hit the, the limit, limit of the sensor, so it could yes. have, the, the values could have been much higher than what we're seeing here. Yes, we can't we can't see that. We can't say that, but I think um, the values are in real are a bit higher. Okay. Than that. Interesting. Yeah. And then uh, the second interesting thing, well, first of all, we have a, a, a big drop. So yeah, which is surprising because I would have thought it takes longer to yes, sort of... Yes, I've expected something like that, off. Yeah, but we have a big drop yeah. here, uh, so in the first hour after midnight, mm -hmm. but then it, it takes really, really long to go back to a, yeah. a basic level where it should be. Right. Yeah, yeah. so... Um, the, this data is not what I've expected. No, me neither. Uh, we definitely see a spike at midnight when the fireworks yes. start going yes. off. Um, we can see that it drops off pretty quickly, a lot more, ex a lot more faster than we expected yes, it yes. would drop off. Um, and we have normal values by the next morning. Uh, I would say one of the lessons learned would be to check the maximum values that your sensor, if you're building a sensor like this, check the maximum value that it can handle because here we would have maybe missed out on 100% accurate readings because we don't know exactly what the upper limit was. Yes. Um, so that's a good lesson, actually. Yes, I think so. Thanks, Bernd. That was interesting. Uh, and that's it for this episode. But before you go, stick around. We reached 10,000 subscribers and we've got something to give away. Boom, make a Monday free stuff. And we've got uh, enough stuff for five winners. We have two 3D three, printers two 3D printers to give away and we have three of these make a Monday boxes. What's in the box you ask? Well, there's these components, which are the components that you can use to build three of the things that we've done in previous episodes on make a Monday. We have the temperature logger, we've got some stuff there for that. Yes. We have the sewn off project, and we have uh, the, everything for the wake-up light, yes. uh, all inside these Make a Monday boxes. So all you have to do to win is subscribe to our channel if you're not already and comment underneath this video what projects you would like to see us do in the future. Yes, and then maybe I want to build them up. Maybe Band will build them up. Thanks for watching everyone, see you next time.